Hi Leo, this is Kelly from Moon Pai Tarot. This is your general love reading for December 2017. This reading is for Leo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate with you. If not, just check your other signs so you can get more information. If you would like a personal reading from me, go to my website moonpietarot.com. I'm offering a 15 minute reading for $25 for the month of December. After December, going into the new year, I will no longer be offering personal video YouTube readings, although I will still upload them to YouTube, the general readings for you for free. I will be transitioning over to the Instant Go app full time, January 2018. Okay, so for those of you who don't have that app yet, go ahead and download it from your iPhone app store and it will eventually be out for Android. Um, so do keep an eye out for that. Okay, so I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So what are the energies for Leo for December 2017 with love? Leo love 2017 oh guys you can also follow me on instagram facebook and twitter all under moon pie tarot so please do follow me because i give um daily and weekly readings on there as well okay for leo what are the energies for leo for december 2017 Okay, justice, oops, why am I putting that sideways? Cross by the king of cups, the root of the issue, the two of swords, past position is the world, crowning you is the ten of cups, In your future, seven of rods, Ten of Swords, your advice and position of you. The Empress, I was just thinking earlier, the Empress keeps showing up in readings. There's a lot of birth, new beginnings happening in December. The Knight of Cups, your hopes and fears. And your outcome card is the Fool clarified by the eight of cups oh Gemini just no cancer I think it was cancer cancer I believe just had so the six of rods so um, very victorious time for you Leo um, and how apropos for the Leos to have this card because this I whenever I look at this card I always think well, if this isn't a Leo, I don't know what it is. This is a card of not only victory, can be a card of fame, uh, people supporting you, applauding you. Some of you may be actors or actresses or perform on stage in some way. And this is a really, uh, if some of you are doing any holiday plays or singing or things like that, this is a time for you. Uh, that you will receive a lot of love and accolade, accolades from people um, throwing roses at you. And as I said in the last the last reading I just uploaded, just be careful that you don't get too pompous or egotistical about all of these things that you get. Um, that's for the Leos who are in very, you know, low level energy. I don't I don't truly believe my Leo subscribers and listeners are of that energy. Um, but it is just kind of a warning, I always say, just to be careful because roses have thorns and you wouldn't want to step on them in your blinded, in your blindedness. If you're blinded by, look at all this light, how it's just there. Um, but regardless, it's a, it's a victorious time for you, especially in love, I feel. So let's see what the rest of the reading has to say and how all of this ties in for you. So you're, Leo, you're, I feel like in the past you put an end to something or you've come full circle with a situation when it comes to love. You've, you've phased right on through. You've done the best you can when it comes to certain situations. You've, you've done all you can. You've 
absolutely been successful in decisions that you've made. The Seven of Pentacles, you put a lot of hard work in. And now you're waiting for the rewards. You're waiting for, you'll be receiving. This can be a card of love, receiving love, receiving, getting back what you've put in to a situation. And so you've, some of you may have just decided, you know what, I've done all I can, and now I'm just going to reap the rewards of what I feel is coming to me. Okay, so your present situation, you have the justice card. So the justice card is just telling me a verdict is coming in. Again, as I was saying, um, things are going to balance out and things are gonna get right. Things are gonna go well. Some of you are dealing with a water sign with this King of Cups, okay? Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, they're in the challenge position, so they, they may be someone that you've been dealing with that were quite a challenge to deal with. Maybe this person wasn't supporting you, or it, it, maybe I feel like, and, and if this King of Cups was in the reverse, I would definitely say that this person may be a bit jealous of you and your success, okay? Um, I feel maybe slightly, though. I don't feel fully that they are. I just feel slightly that they might be. Um, but you're getting something coming during this time period. This King of Cups energy, this person's pretty quiet. They keep to themselves. Even if it's not um, a water sign, whomever they are, they just kind of have this, you see how he's just, he's just reading. His mouth's not moving. He's not saying anything. You know, he's just kind of sitting back, being patient and quiet. And you, Leo, are more or less the type of person. You're action-oriented. So uh, some of you may be wanting something to go right with this King of Cups person. Or, or we're hoping that things, you know, maybe you've put all this energy in in the past with this person. And you were just hoping i mean i feel like this person's good for you because they're in the benefit position and they're upright um but i feel like you you really just got to this point where you've put all this energy in you've done everything you can and now you just want to reap the rewards you want something in return you want something back you're not really sure though what to do about this situation you're, you're kind of like you're not making a decision about that person. I don't see you, you know, I don't see you like putting your foot down. I don't see you saying, okay, you're going to do this or I'm going to do this. I just feel like you're walking away from having to make a decision about this person and perhaps just waiting to see what they will do with this relationship or what they will do now because you've done everything you can and you've been living your life to the best of your ability okay but in your thought process this is your intention you want everything you want your wishes to come true you want your dreams to come true this is what you think this is your your attitude daily now in the month of december you are not settling for less than what you feel you deserve okay and whether this is someone new coming in, you you just have this energy where, you know what, I'm going to be successful no matter what happens, okay? I'm going to be positive no matter what happens. There are people who care for me. There are people who love me. And I do feel like this, this King of Cups does want to, you know, if you've been waiting for an answer for, from someone or from this person, I do feel like you will get it from them because that's what this uh, eight of rods is. This is positive love messages coming suddenly and quickly. This person may have just been, I don't, they're not in the negative. I just feel like they've been kind of, um, you know, it's a challenge for them to maybe open up. And especially if you've been doing so well, they could have this, you know, well, you're doing so great. What do you need me for energy? That kind of stuff going on. A little defensive energy, though, I'm seeing coming up 
somewhere towards the end of December, you know, where you having to stand your ground or fight for what's yours or fight for. I don't feel like you're going to really just put up with any bull or malarkey in December. I feel like you're, you know, you're at the top of the, the mountain. You're at the, you're, you're, here you are. This is where you are during this time, no matter what anyone says or does. And you have the higher ground right here. Okay. Now, in the position of you and your advice, okay, whatever trouble that you have experienced, maybe with this King of Cups energy um, person or any particular person that has kind of watery type energy, they could have a lot of water in their chart and be, say, like an Aries or a Gemini I'm getting or uh, Sag, perhaps. Whatever the issue was with them, you're walking away from um, any betrayals you may have felt or anything that may have occurred. You're just done. You're, you know, the battle's over. The swords have been drawn. The fight occurred. And you dropped your sword and you're like, I'm out. And they dropped their sword, but you don't see them leaving. That's just you in the position of you. You're like, I'm out. I'm done. You know, so, you know, I feel like you're giving off this thing. Like you're, I, f I just feel like everybody's getting in their power in December going into the new year. You're, you're at this place now where you're just like, I am the shit. Excuse my French. I don't usually curse in my videos, but you're, you're just energy is like, I am the, I'm the, I'm it. I'm number one. Okay. I am it. And if someone can't recognize that about you, then you're just like, yeah, see ya, I'm out of here. Okay, this person and the environment around you, though, taking that attitude, they're like, okay, you're right, you are, and you you are perfect, and you are beautiful, and you are very feminine and loving, and you're able to handle things and you do it with such panache and you're so loving and warm. This is how they're viewing you. Okay, so I feel like you might be a little bit intimidating to this person, but I don't feel like you're scaring them off. I do feel like they're going to reach out to you, you know, and try to make a connection with you. There might be a little bit of tension for a little while in regard to maybe all the attention that you're getting that's why I was saying just kind of you know I'm not saying to don't dim your light so other people can shine is that the you know me I'm terrible with my analogies don't dim your light right just be careful that your light's not so darn bright that you blind everyone around you right because I feel like this this I feel like this person is a, is a bit blinded by your your awesomeness <laughs> And it kind of keeps them from reaching out. But I do feel like that they will. There's just going to be, you're going to have to overcome. Maybe there'll be a little argument or something like a, like a power play a little bit with this person. Um, and, but really what you want is you're hoping that they will offer their love to you. And that they really do just adore you for who you are not for your accomplishments and not for um, what everyone maybe you have pictures on Instagram and you're so gorgeous or handsome you know or maybe you have um, social media attention or things like that and you know you actually Leo you just want that person to just adore you but you don't want them to adore you this way because it's a bit su superficial you want them to give you your lo their love their true adoration for who you are you know that person um, before she filters her pictures <laughs> that person before she gets her you know eyebrows done and all that stuff you want to be loved and adored for the person you are when you're spilling you know, cheese on your shirt or that person who, you know, can't find her keys or that, that guy, if you're a male listening, you want to be adored for, you know, the fact that you sometimes say the wrong things or you, you don't always, you want to be adored for your perfections, not all the perfections that everyone sees. 
okay so your outcome position you have the fool so this is just really a freedom energy where you you have this carefree attitude you know because you're feeling so confident about yourself in love and you're feeling so supported and happy and strong in your life you're being successful during this time so you you're kind of like you know okay fine if if you don't care about me you know you're just take it or leave it attitude if someone if you're with someone who's extremely insecure about your uh about who you are or you know even though you want them to love you for who you are and you hope that they will and you fear that they won't you're really just going to take this attitude at the end of december like you know what you can pack your bag and come with me or if you can't be with me because you're insecure then you need to walk away okay um But I do feel like this person, I do feel like they're going to send you messages with that eight of rods. You will get something from them. There's just a little difficult energy that will occur in December when it comes to them. Um, but I don't, this eight of cups is, you know, obviously it looks so dark and sad, but it's really a temporary card it's not a breakup card the eight of cups is just you know this is fear of abandonment you have a fear that this person might say what they say and then see who you you know not really see you for who you are and you might fear that they'll walk away but at the same time you're like well if that's what you have to do I'm still going to be okay um, but they will return because that's what the eight of cups is they will make a return it's just temporary if that's the choice that they make for this time but you should not stop being your carefree self and doing all these wonderful things that you're doing because even if this person doesn't bring you what you need or give you what you need you're still going to be successful in all other areas of your life and and even within yourself you just have this confidence you have the sun behind you okay and that's so very leo you just have this confidence positive energy behind you that your your cups are you are going to have them filled no matter how a relationship does or does not turn out even if you're single and you meet this person this king of cups energy and they're kind of like side sideways a little bit about they're not sure about you because you have so much attention um they have to just accept that about you during this time and i know some of you might be saying really i have attention who's giving me attention you have it you're maybe just being a negative kitty cat and not really seeing where where you're getting it but you and it may even just be that this person could be so insecure that they think even two people that give you a lot of attention is way too much okay so that could be the case but i feel like things justice will be served i feel like things will work out for you okay no matter what the full energy is awesome to have okay you're treading new new ground you're if this person walks away from you even for a little while you're still going to either go on a, the trip that you had planned to take you're still going to live carefree you're still going to do the things that you like to do for yourself because you have made yourself number one no matter what happens okay but i just feel like it could be just them walking out and just you know maybe because there's some kind of argument or issue it's temporary they'll be back and you know it because you're so bright and beautiful and handsome you know they'll be they'll be returning okay leo so that was your reading sorry for the blur the blur it's getting darker so my camera's like nope we're gonna blur um again uh to get a personal reading for me that special reading for the holidays just go to my website moonpytarot.com and um if not you can request a reading on the instant go app okay so take care i'm gonna talk to you soon all right bye